tagged onto the arena side wall there. That was Axel fled for the pit release. Try to... From Langport, Wheelie Big Cheese. That's a big titanium flipper. They can flip a small car, they think. The wheels have spiked semi-finalists in Series 4. They have experienced speed and could here get the victory port salute from us all. From Swanley, Wolverine. Low and flattish with a front lifter plough, can lift railway sleepers, was a reserve for a previous series, now steps into the spotlight, the floodlight, ooh, uh, the moonlight for Wolverine. Roboteers, stand by. The wheelie big cheese team, Roger Plant, John McGuggan and Murray Wharf, and Gareth Dean and John Reason with Wolverine. In the arena for the house robots, the claws, the lance, the invincible circular lot. And fighting alongside our Knight of the Realm, Shunt with the axe and the scoop and the huge pushing power. Three, two, one, activate. Wheelie Big Cheese, semi finalists in the last series, beaten by Tornado, a very good machine. Side by side with Wolverine. You can see there the front lifting scoop of Wolverine, but Wheelie Big Cheese, they say this is the biggest flipper in Robot Wars. Made of titanium, durable, menacing. You can see there the little studs on the wheels to protect them of Wheelie Big Cheese. Roger Plant, the designer and operator, very experienced. Tagged onto the arena side wall there, though, by Wolverine! And Wolverine are over and out! Oh, dear, Gareth Dean and John Reason. There's no reasoning with an attack like that by Wheelie Big Cheese. Look at this. In underneath. And over they go. A zero ground clearance for Wolverine, but somehow Wheelie Big Cheese got in underneath. Brilliant stuff. Can you see that? Wolverine on his back and baying at the moon. Wheelie Big Cheese, they go through. I'll tell you what, I mean, that was a very impressive start. Well, we're hoping. We've worked, done a lot of work on it since last year. Yeah. Yeah. So what have you done? It's bigger motors, it's a much faster flipper. How strong is it? I mean, what can it lift? It can, in, by calculation, it can lift a tonne. And by practice, it can flip over a mini-metro. It can flip over a mini-metro. And you've actually done that, have you? Yeah. It's 800 kilos of mini-metro. Oh, it's it's straight it? over, yeah. Do you think you can go all the way this time? Well, we always think that. I know, but something always goes wrong and it all ends pants. Well, that happens to everybody, isn't it? Yeah, true. Yeah, it's called Robot Wars. It's called Robot Wars. That's yeah. what it's all about, and that's yeah. why we love it. Ladies and gentlemen, Wheelie Big Cheese! Villages at war, not robots at war, because you're from the small town of... Langport. You're from the small town of? Langport. Oh, my goodness. It's war. Um, who are the villagers against? The villagers are with me. With and against you? No, they're with me. It's got nothing to do they're with, with him. you? Oh, they, he oh. says they're with him. Wishful thinking. Another fairy story from old Somerset. <laughs> oh, dear. Who's going to win? We are. Yeah. OK. <laughs> Hello, I'm Roger, that's John, that's Murray. This is the Wheelie Big Cheese Robots, and we're the team that runs it. It's a bit better than last year, a bit more power. It's got its lovely sharp spikes on the wheels, and it's got a nice fast flipper to flip everything in sight. We seeded 10th this year, and we hope to knock the zero off the end as we seeded first. Roboteers, stand by. Will Roger plant his machine into the heat final, or will the Grimm family fairy tale have a happy ending with Axor in the arena? Sergeant Bash, watch for the long range of that flamethrower. And Matilda, tough exoskeleton, tougher tusks, and the flywheel to boot. Three. 
Good battle here. Wheelie Big Cheese is the quicker machine. Both 99 kilos, both from Langport in Somerset. Axel flipped! Oh, goodness me, by Wheelie Big Cheese! That has to be a Robot Wars record flip! Look at the distance achieved here! That is immense! Out of the arena, out of the Robot Wars galaxy! Cease. Huge power! seconds and 15 feet the winner is wheelie big cheese Come on. Um, i bet you've gone right off dairy products <laughs> <laughs> well they said they were going to give us some uh, extra training i didn't realize flying was part of it did you see how you flew. Wow, I mean, that's the highest robot you've ever had in this arena. I, 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 I've never seen anything the like. I mean, Chaos 2 reckon they've got to flip it. <laughs> <laughs> they should think again. I mean, we can't really talk about a fight because there wasn't one. We hit him. Well, yeah. Come on, we hit him. Yeah, I bet you wish you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, let's hear it. Axel! <laughs> Oh, you um, you finally got the flipper working then. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we reread the rules, you see. Yeah. And it said in here that flying robots are allowed. Mm -hmm. So we thought, well, why not? Why not make them fly? <laughs> yeah. As I was saying to them, Chaos Two is supposed to have the strongest flipper in the competition. That's a laugh, isn't it? Well, we've been planning for a long time. Yeah. To have a flipper that would throw them a robot from the middle of the arena. Mm -hmm. We finally got there. You certainly have. So we've only got to ever hit anything once. Yeah. And so I hope it keeps working. Ladies and gentlemen, Wheelie Big Cheese! <laughs> You've got the greater <laughs> cheese. And he's got the cheese greater. I was going to say something clever, but <laughs> I'm obviously haven't got a hope in hell. Um, I hope you have got a hope in hell. Good luck. Good luck. First timers against the Wheelie Big Cheese. I do feel sorry for them. <laughs> Station has the cheese grater. Ian Visser and Dominic Visser in the box, and Roger Plant has noted the cheese grater. Into the arena also comes Dead Metal with the pincer and the saw. And fighting alongside Metal Matilda, the tusks, the flywheel, the tough cold heart. Three, two, one. So, will Crush Station grate on Wheelie Big Cheese nerves? Trying to get out of trouble, it seems to me, and run away. Into the dark recesses of the arena, Wheelie Big Cheese has gone a hunting. And the cheese in this trap is not to catch a mouse, it's to catch a crab. And meanwhile, Wheelie Big Cheese was flipped by Dead Metal and is under pressure here by Crustacean, which is being nipped itself by Dead Metal. The crab nipped by our own version of a scorpion out there. And Crustacean seems to be wedged on to the arena side grind. It's OK. Is it taking a little bit of damage, or is that just a scraping of a veneer out there, maybe? I think so. They're OK. The crab spins away. Whatever happens in the next few moments, it's been a worthy challenge. Really big cheese. That flipper is so powerful. Again, that tactic, Crustacean going for the pit release. Try to catch hold of Wheelie Big Cheese by the claws and was nearly flung. Do not try that again. Don't forget, these, this flipper opens as a, as a sort of a massive set of jaws. Flipping the crab up and over again. Very nearly into crab paste. Backs across the arena floor. In comes Wheelie Big Cheese with naked ambition to win this against an undressed crab because I think the radio receiving aerial has gone. 
with this attack underneath Crash Station, lifted it up, and look at that, the aerial's gone. They cannot now transmit to Crash Station. Either its manoeuvrability or its weaponry will have gone. Maybe both up in the air, slammed onto the arena floor. And Roger Plant and Wheelie Big G's heading through here. Only Tornado stopped them in the semi-finals of Series 4. And Roger's machine about to go through. He really is the big cheese around these parts with that flipper. And what a bold effort it was by Crust Station. Cease. First time competitors. And Ian and a little kiss for Dominic, they did well. Crustacean turned into fish bait. Wheelie Big Cheese through to the series semi-finals. <laughs> They say the flipper can toss a small car. It's certainly more powerful than in the previous series. The wheels have studs for extra grip. The team is experienced and ready to go one step further than the semi-finals where they fell last year. Hello, I'm Roger. That's John. That's Murray. This is the Wheelie Big Cheese robot. It's a bit better than last year, a bit more power. It's got its lovely sharp spikes on the wheels and it's got a nice fast flipper. We've seen it 10th this year and we hope to knock the zero off the end preceded first. Roboteers, stand by. Dominator 2, Peter, Paul and Chris there in the control pod and the wheelie big cheese boys, Roger Plant, John and Murray with him. In the arena for the house robots, shunt first up with the diamond edge axe and the scoop. And battling for the House Robots 2, Dead Metal, the weapon synergy is key. Three, two, one, debate. A formidable flipper here on Wheelie Big Cheese. Already in this series, it has tossed two machines out of the arena completely. Dominator 2 has the heavy axe, but doesn't want to get involved with Wheelie Big Cheese flipper. And there goes the pit release button activated by Wheelie Big Cheese. Up on its side, Dominator 2 trying to get in underneath Wheelie Big Cheese. They turn together, and there's the flip for Dominator 2. That must have sailed eight feet into the air and then down. Wheelie Big Cheese has this phenomenal power this time around. It has already tossed one machine out from halfway across the arena. In the earlier heat, out went Wolverine, out went Axor, and that's the power again on Dominator 2. And what damage has been caused there to Dominator 2's electronics within as they come shuddering down. All hail Dominator 2. Well, it's got some work to do here against a wheelie big cheese machine, defeated by Tornado in the semi-finals of Robot Wars 4, beaten in the heat by Chaos 2 in Robot Wars 3. And so determined here, Roger Plant, to go all the way. Dominator 2 digs its axe down to gain some leverage, acting as a Sremek, and now comes on the attack. They've got to get some damage in on that wheelie big cheese flipper and stop it operating. Otherwise, you get the sense that Roger Plant is going to line up a broadside attack and come in and flip Dominator once again. That's better driving there from Peter at the controls of Dominator 2 so that Wheelie Big Cheese can't get in underneath its side, its flanks, if you get my trip. Now, Dominator 2 spins away, thought about an attack on Wheelie Big Cheese, which momentarily has stopped. What has happened to Wheelie Big Cheese? It has stopped. Something has gone wrong. That's not moving. Dominator 2 was nudging it. Wheelie Big Cheese has... Well, in, in, in scientific terms, conked out. Roger Blunt, what has happened to your machine? I saw it early on in the series, and I thought this was the one that was going to go all the way because of its formidable, frenzied flipping power. But it has two seconds remaining in Robot Wars. Wheelie Big Cheese has gone out. Grated, shredded. In comes the circular saw there of dead metal. Heat generated sparks blue. You are Welsh rabbit. Wheelie really big cheese. Must be feeling Danish blue. Oh dear. Dominator, they go through. Yeah. 
When are you going to build a robot that doesn't break down? I think you've got a mouse in the cheese. <laughs> oh, hey, listen, man. That has flipped robots further and higher than anything we've ever experienced in Robot Wars. Yeah. We just did it again, then. It's yeah. a phenomenal robot. Yeah. What went wrong? We lost all the, everything from the receiver. We, first of all, we lost one wheel, then the other, and I don't know what happened. It just, it just died. When did it happen, though? I mean, because they all of a sudden they're on their axe. They can't go anywhere. I thought you were just gonna go under them and just throw them away. Why didn't yeah. you? It, it just wouldn't work. We just lost a wheel then at the wrong time. Have you got time to think? Can you repair it? Because you know there's a loser's melee. You've still got a chance to make yeah, it we'll, we'll into look, the yeah. final. We're going to have a look. See what's wrong with it. Yeah. All right. It's a wire come off or something stupid. As simple as that. You know. It okay. really is. Let's see if we can get you in the final, all right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what a robot. Wheelie Big Cheese! <laughs> Two, one, Two. Hardly mellow yellow out there in the arena. The three yellow machines, a banana skin battle developing. Wheelie Big Cheese in the middle, running it underneath Panic Attack's front porch to flip. Firestorm recognising the danger of Wheelie Big Cheese. Hey, look, I better take you out first. Firestorm at the moment, the speedier of the three in there, up to 12 mile an hour top speeds. They're all locked together. What is wrong with Wheelie Big Cheese's flipper? Nothing. Panic attack spins to the ground. The flipper yawns open. Is it stuck open? No. Like a great yawning mouth, it closes once again. Panic attack on the hit release button, but not depressing it. Wheelie Big Cheese is against the arena side wall, and Firestorm's flipper nearly came into play then. Trying to toss 99 kilos of cheese out of the arena. A jet of flame, Wheelie Big Cheese is up against it, against that arena sidewall. Firestorm doing all the nagging. A real irritant in there, but they need to get out of the CPZ of the Sergeant Bash can attack them. Wheelie Big Cheese is wedged underneath the side angle grinder, and I don't think can get out of there now. They need to slam that machine into reverse. You can see the studs on the tyres giving them some purchase. Refbot has a look. Wheelie Big Cheese is away. Slams into Sergeant Bash, hardly advisable. Panic Attack doesn't seem to be mobile. Yes, it is. It just moved, and it's that'll do. And there you can see the Firestorm boys, and in the background, Kim Davis of of panic attack concentrating. His machine is just moving. The pit release button has been depressed. Firestorm has done all the work for me thus far, should it go to a judge's decision. Panic attack hasn't done a great deal, and Winnie Big seems to be wedging its own war against um, itself. Uh, Firestorm against the arena side wall, and panic attack now comes back out. Where are they playing cat and mouse? Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Well, I don't know. Panic attack. Oh, Firestorm did it, and he's going to see a flip in. No, they missed an opportunity. Not great style by the Firestorm boys. Missed a chance to attack there. Wheelie Big Cheese, what has happened to Roger Plant's machine? It's been counted out. They're the first to go in this loser's melee. Don't forget, the winner of the loser's melee goes straight back into the main competition. Panic attack. Again, susceptible to a Firestorm attack. The cheese is gone. They're out of it. A major surprise that for me in this semi-final. I thought Wheelie Big Cheese with a big number. No, they're not. Firestorm left in there with Panic Attack. And the judges will have to decide which of these two stays in the competition and which goes out at the end. Dead Metal has a, a say in it. And if anything, Panic Attack Six. finishing the stronger there. Well, Wheelie Big Cheese didn't make it. Panic Attack and Firestorm throw themselves at the mercy of our judges.